Millions of girls love them. <laughs> Juno's brothers have sold millions of records and are an international pop sensation. And I thought being famous would be so cool. But it wasn't an easy start for them. Infighting. Oh! Yeah, why are you doing Don't that? Don't start to me? crying. A brother that went missing. I have a lot of guilt about it. I was looking all over for him. A canceled tour. I don't look good in, in handcuffs. I'd never be the same again. But they found a common bond and became a world pop sensation. Five weeks ago, Kip, Billy, and Alex decided to create a teen pop rock band called Hot Pockets. I got a guitar for my birthday, and I knew right when I held it what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You know, I love music and all, and I thought being famous would be so cool and awesome and stuff. I did it for the chicks. When I came up with the name Hot Pockets for our band, I was looking down and I saw my pocket, and I was enlightened, and then I realized, hey, we're pretty hot. Actually, I'm pretty hot, and so I decided to put Hot Pocket together. Plus, I love the ones with the little meatballs in there. So good. Oh, Early on, the band had some problems. Stop! You stay on the ground! Oh man, those words! Where'd you get those words? That was like a girly magazine. Those words. The band sounded awful and were about to give up. I think you were scratch. I thought you were doing great. Don't like, cry. Oh no, don't down. start. Dude, don't you start. Okay. Billy, stop. Kid. I am. Back uh, off, man. No, he's, he's a, like a girly girl. You don't even know what. You don't Billy, even know. Look at me in my eyes. Stop crying like a girl. I can't. You but they profited from a little help from their older brother. It's like, whoa, man, you got to be in our band. That brother? Jonah. A prophet who also played the keyboard on the side. The band immediately improved. That. Whoa. That is, that is great. Jonah. That was, that was great. Jonah, man, you rock. Jonah. Jonah, high five, man. Hey, that was awesome. Jonah, that was good. Within days, Hot Pockets had sold a half a million records and had legions of young fans. I mean, we were huge. We were at the top of our game and we, we got asked to go on tour with Miley Cyrus for a world tour. How much bigger can you get? She, she turned on you too. With everything going their way, something dark was on the horizon. Jonah went missing. One day, I woke up from my beauty sleep like this, and I knew that something was missing. And it wasn't my good looks, because it was always there. But Jonah was, and I couldn't believe I looked all over the place, under the covers, the couch, and he wasn't playing hide no seek. He was somewhere, and so I went to the mall, number one, and there was no one to be found. I looked everywhere. I went to mall number two with the big roof and stuff, and no one there. I looked in the aquarium, the fishbowl, everywhere. Jonah was gone. He was there for us. He, he was the reason we were number one, and uh, I'm sorry. He was gone. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. His close friends say Jonah had a message from God. But rumor has it, he caught a boat to Tarshish. We had to cancel the tour. It was really uncool. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Coming up on Behind the Moon. I made a messy mess. I mean, I've always craved it, but... took me over. Well, he, um, he wasn't being very nice to me. And I didn't know it was a bad thing. And if apparently it was a bad thing, <laughs> I can't believe I got arrested. I bet you wish we never met.